The second Virgo personality which is from September 3rd to September 10th. Virgo 2 people are difficult to fathom. Their paradoxical and often mysterious nature seems to resist explanation. Part of the reason this is true is that Virgo 2s are often taken up with highly personal endeavors which may be hard to communicate or to share. Their personal quests and struggles may have to be ventured alone. The power of the intellect figures prominently in the Virgo 2 personality. Those born in this period use their minds well in a variety of scientific, technical and practical activities, generally honing their craft or skills to a high level of expertise. Virgo twos also put great emphasis on maintaining standards in their work. Unfortunately, they may impose the same rigorous standards on less capable or more easygoing individuals who find it difficult to live up to such expectations. When Virgo twos extend their value system to the moral sphere as well, as they frequently do, they can appear to others as somewhat forbidding or even condemning people. Thankfully, those born in this period rarely operate by a double standard and remain vigilant where the justness of their actions is concerned. Approval and disapproval thus play an important role in the Virgo two makeup. Those born in this period who have been rejected, denied love or unduly criticized in childhood may be fated to repeat such behavior toward their own children or partner in adult life. Although accepting of varying perspectives and open to new discoveries, Virgo twos may not be so accepting of other people's personalities and foibles. When they internalize parental attitudes they can be extremely self-demanding and self-critical, leaving themselves little rest and promoting a nervous constitution. Because many Virgo twos present a mild and agreeable exterior, they may be mistaken for an easy touch. However, no one who crosses them will ever forget the steel of their response. Both men and women born in this period can be among the most physically attractive in the whole year, if not naturally blessed with good looks, they usually succeed in making themselves appealing. Advice. Try to maintain flexibility and acceptance without compromising your high standards. Open your heart in love relationships. Be aware of your condemning and unforgiving side. Gentleness, kindness and diplomacy are traits worth developing. Beware of putting yourself above the law or outside society. Don't be afraid to show your vulnerability. The third Virgo personality which is from September 11th to September 18th. Virgo 3 people are not shy about demanding what they need for themselves. What suits them, not others, is their focus. The dutiful and service-oriented side of Virgo is not so evident here. However, this should not give the impression that Virgo 3s are somehow mercenary or cold. In fact, they need to give and receive warmth and love like all of us, but may be much more selective about how and under what conditions it is shared. They may also be highly discriminating as to the quality of their feelings and those of others. Virgo 3s specialize in being able to bring the full power of their thought processes to bear on the situation at hand. However, if their emotional center is disturbed they can be knocked off balance. Emotions in general are difficult for Virgo 3s to deal with. Since they tend to take things literally, and strongly favor their intellectual side, they may not demonstrate the greatest sympathy for the plight of others. They especially despise self-pity and lack of self-criticism. Thus they are particularly hard on those who overindulge themselves or seem to revel in their weaknesses. But those born in Virgo 3 reserve their fiercest scorn for those who have betrayed them or sabotaged their plans, they may or may not exact retribution on such people, but they will certainly ignore and avoid them in the future. Beyond their aversion to chaos, Virgo 3s exemplify the characteristic Virgo traits of neatness and order. Another positive trait is their self-confidence. However, they can be almost ruthless in implementing their ideas, often employing an effective combination of head-on demand and more subtle manipulation. When their passions have fixed on one individual, their capacity for loyalty and service are great, but so are those for control and giving orders. They must beware of dominating those less willful and determined than themselves. 
Though Virgo 3s often display marked ambition, their desire to be exceptional rarely manifests in flamboyance. Indeed, their dislike of excess emotionality, ostentation, or fuss spares them a lot of grief and unnecessary complication in life. Advice Try to be more sympathetic to the feelings of others. Not everyone is as strong-willed and directed as you. Don't get bottled up in your head, cultivating a love of food, sleep and sensuous activities is essential to the grounding of your energies. Do not hide behind or rely too heavily on those who would serve you. The cusp of Virgo Libra personality which is from September 19th to September 24th. Virgo Libra cusp are often taken up with the pursuit of beauty and sensuousness. Perhaps they are drawn to attractive people, the arts, precious objects, and the like, or desire to make themselves, their family members, living space, or lifestyle in general more aesthetically appealing. Not surprisingly, attentiveness and concern for details makes those born on the Virgo Libra cusp excellent in managing the smooth, harmonious running of a business operation, project, or family activity. Every cusp personality comprises conflicting elements, being influenced by two very different adjacent signs. In the case of those born on the Virgo Libra cusp, however, these differences can become fully integrated around the central theme of beauty. Both Virgos and Libras are concerned with matters of taste and aesthetic ideals. However, as sensation thought types, Virgo Libra people can lack depth in the emotional and intuitive spheres, which may lead some to regard them as being superficial. Undeniably Virgo Libra cusp are concerned with the outward appearance of things. But often what those born on this cusp are seeking is a perfect outward representation of their own inner vision, which comes from a very deep place inside them. Advice. Don't be overly concerned with appearances. Keep alive in your search for beauty, avoid becoming jaded, trendy, or compulsive. Beware of neglecting spiritual goals or falling prey to excessive materialism. Keep your nervous system under control. The first Libra personality which is from September 25th to October 2nd. Simply put, Libra ones are among the most talented and attractive people of the whole year. It is strange that with so much going for them, those born in this period are often curiously unable to advance as easily as they wish in life. Some of this has to do with their over-insistence on technical perfection. Also, their emotions can be very unstable at times and if not moderated can undermine their efforts. Libra ones often place heavy demands not only on themselves but also on those with whom they interact on a day-to-day -day basis. Their standards regarding beauty, truth and quality are indeed high. Consequently, they may be very trying, even extraordinarily difficult individuals with whom to live. On the other hand, when those born in this period are pleased, the approval and encouragement they bestow on friends, associates and family is heartfelt and meaningful. Libra ones have a high code of honor which they seek to uphold in their conduct. Rarely will they transgress their principles or personal notion of morality, but nonetheless can be extremely subtle in masking their true point of view or intentions behind an ironic or satirical facade. Others may believe that they understand Libra eyes, only to find out that they were deeply mistaken. For example, some Libra eyes can appear to be so obsessed with the demands of their work that they are oblivious to the concerns of those around them. In fact, they are probably both aware of and concerned about how others feel and though they may give the impression of being detached or cool, all sorts of complicated emotions are working just beneath the surface. Indeed a cool Libra eye exterior is less evidence of emotionlessness than an attempt to keep feelings under control. So great is the technical drive of those born in Libra eye that they can come to spend most of their spare time fixing things. Such fixing may not only apply to toasters and cars, but also to systems, organizations or relationships, even people. Often Libra ones are convinced that they can take a certain situation and make it right, but grow so fascinated with the work itself that it becomes difficult or impossible to finish. While they make adjustments, consider and reconsider, the clock is ticking. Therefore it is important that those born in this period remain open to both the suggestions and encouragement that others can provide. Advice. Cultivate self-confidence. Beware of being too aggressive in your criticism of others, your bark can bite. Be consistent in your stance. Fight the impulse to procrastinate, but at the same time resist interfering with things that work, even if they do not meet your expectations. Mistakes are just part of the game.
The second Libra personality which is from October 3rd to October 10th. Libra 2 people are concerned with social success, but only to a point. The vibrant individuals born in this period are generally disinterested in acquiring power over others, and could hardly be called social climbers. They are instead fascinated by the manifold workings of their society and often, no matter what their station in life, involved in defining social standards of behavior as well as priorities for their own group. Those born in Libra too generally feel at home in the world. Although they may place a high value on spending time alone, they would be wasting a true blessing in talent if they were to isolate themselves, since their people skills are usually very advanced, to say the least. Many feel they can trust Libra twos and readily confide in them. One reason those born in this period inspire trust is that friends and associates can sense a Libra II's disinterest in gaining by another's misfortune or using information for selfish ends. Furthermore, those born in this period have a great sense of fun which seems to lighten the cares of themselves and others. But Libra II's are also extremely outspoken, and mince no words in expressing their opinion. Since justice and fairness are Given a high priority by them, they can react strongly to what they perceive to be corruption or decadence. They particularly dislike those who would remain blithely unaware of the suffering of others, and they may occasionally lash out at such people with a stinging fury. Libra twos do not always make friends with their behavior, but they generally manage to inspire respect. Among those in their social circle, Libra twos are often the ones who set trends and define taste. These up-to-date individuals pride themselves on knowing what is in and what is out at the moment. Furthermore, many born in this period are fascinated with the history of fashion, innovation and invention, thus without being conventional themselves they can still be well-schooled in the conventions of any particular social custom, even expert. The most successful of Libra II's build on this awareness to produce a highly personal vision which helps to shape the future of their profession, social group or family. Advice Try to find your true heart's desire. Once you have found it, remember to show you really care. Don't always give things away, hold on to what is most valuable in yourself. Learn to limit your explorations of interesting but distracting subjects that can sidetrack you from your main purpose. Make some hard choices, but preserve your dreams and visions. The third Libra personality which is from October 11th to October 18th. Libra 3 people are hard-headed realists with the guts and rivetto get ahead. However, their approach to achieving success is usually more of the persistent rather than the ruthless variety. Although ambition is one of their chief characteristics, Libra 3s are not solely interested in getting results or in exerting influence over others. The way things are done is of great importance to them, consequently those born in this period may consider a winning venture or endeavor unsuccessful if it was accomplished without a sufficient sense of style, motivation, or purpose. Libra 3s are consummate role players who are well aware of their image. Whether through their appearance, speech, or bearing, they strive to make a favorable impression. Indeed, fashioning such an image may be a central preoccupation of their life. It is important to Libra 3s that they appear at ease, doing things both graciously and gracefully. Paradoxically, these measured individuals all too often ruffle the feathers of those around them, and particularly their cool, relaxed approach and seeming objectivity can infuriate rivals and competitors. Libra 3s can be highly responsible individuals who discharge their obligations to the letter. Yet those involved in personnel relationships with them may feel misunderstood at a deep emotional level, even neglected. This is often because a Libra 3 is only willing to go so far in relationships and no further. By drawing this line, those born in this period may feel that they are saving their energies for their work or preserving a cherished sense of freedom, refusing to be dragged into complex emotional struggles or moods. Maintaining a high standard of quality in their work is crucial to Libra 3s and with it their good name. Generally, those born in this period are not only skilled in the technical aspects of their profession but adept in financial matters as well. Because they so often strive to make themselves indispensable, they may become bewildered and depressed when they are ignored or rejected. Though in general self-confident, Libra 3s may need to deepen their sense of independence so that they are not so reliant on what others think of them. Advice Beware of making promises you can't keep. Consider carefully the possible repercussions of your actions. 
Sometimes it is necessary to play it a part but don't kid yourself in the process. Be more considerate of the feelings of others, devote sufficient time and patience to emotional matters. The cusp of Libra Scorpio personality which is from October 19th to October 25th. The dramatic Libra Scorpio cusp is one of the most critical individuals of the whole year. Those born in this period can perfectly embody the spirit of their age but also comment on it. No matter what walk of life they inhabit, their facile minds and often sharp tongues will mark them as individuals to be reckoned with. Most often, if asked their opinion they give it straight out, holding nothing back. Therefore, those born on the Libra Scorpio cusp may be sought out for honest evaluations, but equally well feared and even avoided for their piercing frankness. Every cusp personality comprises conflicting elements, being influenced by two very different adjacent signs. In the case of this particular cusp, the highly developed social awareness of Libra can be well integrated with the powerfully controlling detachment of Scorpio. However, conflicts may also arise here between intellectual and emotional energies, which may be extremely difficult to bring into balance. Primarily thought-feeling types, Libra Scorpio cusp can mistrust intuitive impulses. On the other hand, those born on the Libra Scorpio cusp cusp also have a wild side, and can at a moment's notice drop their objective stance in favor of risk and adventure. Furthermore, once they are committed to a situation they will usually refuse to stop until the denouement is complete, no matter how painful it may be. Because of their total involvement, and also their charm and attractiveness, those born in this period may indeed be difficult to unseat from a position of authority or for that matter from a place in a lover's heart. Advice. Try to relax and have fun. Learn to be less picky. Do not cut yourself off from unusual experiences but maintain your poise and balance. Continue to battle with life and resist escapism or the throes of self-pity. Leave the past behind and embrace the future. Cynicism and sarcasm are poison to you. The first Scorpio personality which is from October 26 to November 2nd. Scorpio I people are very intense. Once they get their teeth into something they do not easily let go. Nor do they specialize in compromise. Although they may be referred to as sunny Scorpios, usually not as emotionally dark as others of this sign, those born in this period are nonetheless attracted to tragedy and know what it is to suffer. Scorpio eyes usually have an immediate feeling for whether someone is likely to be a friend or foe, a general sense of discrimination that stands them in good stead. They can be quite combative toward their opponents, giving no quarter in an argument or dispute. Yet most of their aggression is unleashed from a defensive posture, and they are smart enough to walk away from confrontations that are senseless or place them at a serious disadvantage. By the same token, these warriors, men and women, rarely waste their energies on lesser opponents. Using their charm with great effect is characteristic of Scorpio eyes. They have an excellent sense of humor, but can sometimes employ it devastatingly at another person's expense. Indeed, those born in Scorpio I make terrible teasers and if they decide that they want to get under a victim's skin, can be at once unmerciful and unrelenting. Scorpio is usually have a strict code, hopefully moral rather than immoral, to which they adhere. They are very interested in motives, often deeming it more important to know why something was done rather than judging an endeavor or action by its outcome alone. Thus a false move will be forgiven by a Scorpio I more readily than an impure motive. Scorpio is scorn petty or underhanded actions and despise success achieved through deceit. Furthermore they show little interest in apologies and excuses, unless truly sincere and not overly frequent. Where work is concerned, those born in this period tend to be unimpressed by quantity alone, focusing on the quality of services and products. In like manner, they themselves are capable of working very slowly for long periods of time in order to achieve their ends. Advice Supply the same constancy you expect from others, but also be less hard on yourself when it comes to mistakes. If at all possible, try to both forgive and forget. Leave excess baggage behind, the injuries of the past can be too heavy for anyone to bear, even you. The second Scorpio personality hitch is from November 3rd to November 11th. Scorpio 2 people are profound individuals who are in touch with the dark side of life. Generally Scorpio Lees are not in a big hurry. They generally feel that time is on their side and are thus able to wait. 
Metamorphic change may be affected in themselves and their lives over many years, slowly and unseen. However, those born in Scorpio too must be careful that waiting for the right moment does not itself become the principal activity, a kind of procrastination. The danger here is that such static behavior will lead to brooding, and brooding to depression. During such periods Scorpio twos must beware that their dark side does not come to dominate their outlook. It could be said that Scorpio twos have a big advantage in that they are in touch with deep areas of their personalities which others may only sense occasionally, if at all. Whether a Scorpio two makes something out of this understanding remains to be seen. Part of the problem is that although in touch with their deeper thoughts, imaginings and emotions, some Scorpio twos never come to terms with their own profundity. That is, they are confused as to how their deeper understanding of life fits in with ordinary life, making a living, and so on. Furthermore, dredging up such material from the unconscious can be dangerous business and threaten to push more unstable personalities over the edge. For Scorpio twos to find a healthy balance, a give and take with their plutonic self is a tremendous challenge, but one that can yield valuable results. Scorpio twos respond instinctively to the heavier aspects of the human condition. Not only do they tend to sleep more deeply than most people, but also feel more deeply as well. Indeed, some born in Scorpio too can become slaves to the pleasures of the table and the bed, and must be careful that such activities do not come to dominate their lives. For Scorpio twos, words often just get in the WT. Many born in this period can effectively express admiration or affection, or on the other hand disapproval and discontent without needing to speak at all. Advice. Let the sun shine in and the light within you shine out. Don't take things so seriously. Work on leveling out your moods and see how much happiness you can bring to yourself and others. Put your singular insight to productive use. Learn to laugh more at the illusions of the world and also at yourself. The third Scorpio personality which is from November 12th to November 18th. Scorpio 3 people tend to be highly magnetic, sensual, and charming. Thus the responsibility of those born in this period toward their fellow human beings is very great, though they do not always realize this fact. Should their ethical orientation be less than admirable, they are likely to selfishly use others to further their own ends and perhaps do great damage. Thus, clarifying a healthy working philosophy or moral stance which asserts human values and respects the wishes of others is an essential task for Scorpio 3s from the outset. Many born in this period seek to be the boss or leader whether at home or at work. In most respects, they are well qualified for such positions of responsibility. Usually Scorpio 3 bosses are in touch with the emotional needs of those they command, and although they may be highly demanding, they can usually impose rules and delegate responsibilities in an objective fashion which can be easily accepted. Scorpio 3s have a highly developed sensuality which not only tends to attract others but leads them to seek out a variety of physically satisfying experiences. Spoiling themselves can become a way of life for those born in the Scorpio 3 period, particularly satisfying for. Them are the pleasures of vacations and travel, where the experiencing of newfound joys can figure prominently. The inner stability of Scorpio 3s is usually so great that it seems it would take an earthquake to knock them off balance. Part of the reason for this is self-control, another part a realistic assessment of their capabilities which keeps them from venturing beyond their limitations. On the other hand, Scorpio 3s may have to remind themselves from time to time to take more chances, to truly dare to fail and thus be able to reach new heights. Perhaps the people who have the strongest influence on Scorpio 3s are those who are less under their sway, less bowled over by their charm or magnetic qualities. Indeed, Scorpio 3s need at least one good friend who can furnish honest, objective advice and criticism. Advice Keep a critical eye on yourself. Respond to the highest challenges and occasionally take meaningful risks. Be mindful of what is important in life, of what endures and holds lasting value. Always aim high and don't be afraid of failure. The cusp of Scorpio Sagittarius personality which is from November 19th to November 24th. The personality is characterized by rebelliousness against authority. Strangely enough, those born on this cusp who eventually find themselves in positions of authority are often able to wield power skillfully. However, generally speaking, Scorpio Sagittarius do best in self-employed pursuits. 
Even those who work in larger companies or organizations, or take part in group endeavors, function most effectively when they are allowed a high degree of autonomy. Every cusp personality comprises conflicting elements, being influenced by two very different adjacent signs. Scorpio, water, and Sagittarius, fire, energies can clash, producing internal disturbances. Feeling intuitive types, Scorpio Sagittarius may lack the stability of earth and the mental orientation of air, qualities needed to keep them on an even keel. Many born on the Scorpio Sagittarius cusp are prone to wildness, particularly in their youth when they are perhaps painfully aware of being unlike other people. Therefore, they may not even bother to prepare themselves for a more conventional life. On the other hand, those who are forced by difficult experience to take stock of themselves in their youth, may actually gain a rare sense of directedness and purpose. Advice. Follow your vision of life but don't lose touch with where others are. Keep your intentions honest and your motives pure. Develop the objectivity to stand back and observe yourself living. Try to be more forgiving and less possessive. The first Sagittarius personality which is from November 25th to December 2nd. Sagittarius I people are perhaps the most self-reliant individuals of the whole year. Indeed, those born in this period demand the freedom to feel, think and act according to their own code of behavior. Yet, conversely, they do gain great satisfaction from helping those who need protection or nurturing from them, small children, disadvantaged adults, domestic animals, etc. Their generosity and capacity to give in these cases is high. Sagittarius's cannot and will not be constrained. Their intuitive sense is highly developed, so they naturally tend to follow their instincts thus at times they can be rather impulsive, even rash. Fortunately, although those born in this period are often drawn toward ecstatic and idealized experiences, they may also find excitement where others recognize only the mundane or commonplace. For most Sagittarius eyes, school and formal education do not exert a strong attraction. Largely self-taught, these free spirits may feel cramped and confined in classroom situations, particularly where rigid rules or formalized behavior apply. Many Sagittariuses believe that life itself is the great teacher and consider experience to be the books and lessons. Although those born in this period are quite capable of devoting their creative energies to one area of endeavor, they may ultimately follow the credo that living well is the highest creative activity. Therefore, Sagittariuses who work regular jobs usually put a great deal of energy into making their leisure time and their hobbies exciting and rewarding. Family outings, community events, sporting activities, or just fun with friends, all or any of these may prove to be the main focus of their life. Sagittariuses can be at times highly critical and even savagely satiric concerning the foolishness of human behavior. However, they see their irony and BBKBBE carried mockery not as negative or destructive but as a much-needed truthfulness based on an ethical orientation to life. Few things are valued more highly by a Sagittarius I than character and integrity. Because of their desire for independence, and because they tend to limit themselves to a few choice friends, Sagittarius is risk condemning themselves to a lonely life. Yet being alone is not necessarily a lonely experience for those born in this period. Advice. Strive to keep your emotions on an even keel. Beware of allowing yourself an overly high-minded or high-handed attitude. Keep control over your expectations and try to be more forgiving. There is nothing wrong with compromise or with occasionally losing. Watch your tendency to exaggerate. The second Sagittarius personality which is from December 3rd to December 10th. Sagittarius two people are different and are not afraid to show it. One might say that the mold which made each of them was thrown away after one use. They are extremely difficult to categorize since each is so individual, and in many ways their intricate personalities defy description. Most often they themselves defy established rules of conduct and social codes. This is less out of rebelliousness than simply that they rarely consider doing something in any way but their own. Indeed, it sometimes seems that Sagittarius Lease are incapable of being anything but themselves. Consequently, if those born in this period make things difficult for others, they generally have no intention to do so. Such individualistic and highly original people are not always easy to live with.
Somehow, however, they usually expect that others will understand their often intricate thought processes and highly unconventional behavior. Those born in Sagittarius too just have a way of making more normal people itchy. Since they are in general averse to compromise or a softening of their stance. Sagittarius twos can experience a large measure of conflict and perhaps rejection not only in personal relationships but also in their careers. The crucial point is whether or not they have the tenacity to hang in there in spite of difficulties. Perhaps the key for those born in Sagittarius too is to seek out mates and occupations that suit their unusual nature. Sagittarius us generally do not care to make excuses for their principles, lifestyle, or personal decisions to anyone. However, by associating with those who do appreciate them, they stand a greater chance of success. The majority of Sagittarius twos are not greatly interested in getting ahead. Some born in this period simply give up on worldly goals, perhaps early in life, and could care less about recognition. Paradoxically, these same people can be earmarked for success by fate and will be propelled forward by events whether they like it or not. It is not uncommon for a hard-working Sagittarian too to finally give up on ever making it and just after that to suddenly achieve success. Advice Try to get out a bit more and do what others do from time to time. Don't drive yourself into a corner by believing that no one can understand you. Make an effort to let others into your private world. Resist aiming off to life, keep things fresh and renew your commitment. The third Sagittarius personality which is from December 11th to December 18th. Sagittarius three people tend to be high-minded, expansive personalities. They think big and follow the large line. This is not to imply that they neglect details, for many are also craftsmanlike and technically proficient. But normally those born in this period feel comfortable putting their abilities in the service of a higher cause, be it social, scientific, family-related or highly personal in nature. Sagittarius III may or may not be big physically, but even those of a small frame convey a weighty presence. Such a presence may be intimidating to some, reassuring to others, but in any case a Sagittarius III is hard to ignore. Many born in this period think to move mountains, and in fact sometimes do but they must beware that they don't wind up bulldozing their way through life. Though their force is hard to stand up to, they will nonetheless encounter great resistance unless they are able to moderate the exertion of their power. Usually, Sagittarius III are not overly verbal individuals, generally preferring to let their deeds speak for themselves. Often they are better able to express themselves through writing than speech. Sagittarius III must learn to control their tempers. When they fly into a rage, their wrath can indeed be frightening. The other extreme is also possible, with them falling into a deadly silence. In either case, it is often an underlying fear of inferiority or failure which is the dynamic behind such behavior. Thus, although many born in this period appear powerful, perhaps even godlike at times, they can manifest a curious lack of self-confidence. Because Sagittarius III generally only respect or take seriously arguments which come from a position of strength, friends, family and co-workers must sometimes take a hard line with them. There is usually little danger of a Sagittarius III seeking to court favors through devious or underhanded means, their form of persuasion is highly direct. Nonetheless, those born in this period may have to learn to be more diplomatic, to more often go around rather than through obstacles. Moreover, Sagittarius ills need to give careful consideration to ventures and endeavors of forethought and thus avoid squandering prodigious energies on losing propositions. Advice Learn to enjoy the little things, the simple pleasures of life. Try to be more understanding of others. Apply your ethical standards to yourself and concentrate more of your energies on personal growth. Find a way to blend in when necessary and avoid ruffling feathers. The Cusp of Sagittarius Capricorn Personality which is from December 19th to December 25th. Those born on the Sagittarius Capricorn Cusp not only demonstrate a talent for sensing the future state of things but also take a hand in shaping them as well. One reason that the future so often belongs to the determined individuals born on this cusp is that they prepare for it so thoroughly. Sagicorns are also great initiators of projects, able to get things moving efficiently in a remarkably short space of time. They are not known, however, for their patience with those who fail to appreciate or endorse their plans. 
Faced with a lack of cooperation, those born on this cusp are prepared to move ahead alone, decisively and with full force. Every cusp personality comprises conflicting elements, being influenced by two very different adjacent signs. This holds particularly true for those born on the Sagittarius Capricorn cusp, indeed, the fiery, impulsive Sagittarian side can clash with the slower, more calculating earthiness of Capricorn. Moreover, conflicts may arise between the expansive influences of Jupiter, ruler of Sagittarius, and the restrictive tendencies of Saturn, ruler of Capricorn. Intuition sensation types, those born on the Sagittarius Capricorn cusp can lack the lightness of air and sensitivity of water. Sagicorns are often deep, weighty individuals who recognize the power of silence. Many born on this cusp also have the ability to utilize this power as a forceful extension of their personality. They must be careful, however, not to alienate those with whom they live and work or cut off avenues of communication. Advice. Learn to temper your intensity. By understanding yourself better you will be less at the mercy of your moods. Work on improving social relationships and continue to befriend others. Beware of any tendencies to close yourself off. Allow your warm and loving side full reign and keep your heart open. The first Capricorn personality which is from December 26 to January 2. As far as Capricorn I people go there is little question about who is the boss. Authoritative personalities, they tend to speak with much assurance even when they are wrong. Not so much leadership, but rulership, laying down the law and asserting their power, is their forte. Rarely will the courageous individuals born in this period back down from a cherished position. In like manner, once they have made a decision in daily life, particularly one that employs the word no, it can be the devil to get them to change their mind. Even Capricorn is who are less interested in rulership for its own sake must take care, however, that loyalty to an idea or to responsible behavior does not turn into inflexibility or even a rigid refusal to change for any reason. Capricorn is usually pride themselves on knowing a great deal about their special areas of interest. Because they tend to limit themselves to a very few areas of endeavor, the thorough understanding they acquire in any given field gives them a solid basis for their opinions. Consequently, they have a strong dislike for glib or unfounded statements, and often even a greater antipathy toward the people who make them, particularly those in their own field whom they see as frauds. Capricorn is are admirable in their willingness to oppose injustice fearlessly. Not only W will they stand up for their own rights but for those of the underdog as well. In their youth such attitudes may mark them as rebels, but as they get older they nonetheless tend to adopt a more conservative stance. Part of the reason for this is that they have a healthy respect for tradition, they are more oriented toward making improvements in a given situation than tearing it down. Pragmatists Capricorn is will generally support a reasonable approach that seems to work, and will not easily reject a time-tested solution. Yet at the same time their intellectual curiosity keeps them abreast of developments in their society, whether political or cultural, and they tend to stay in touch with advancements in their field. Those born in this period usually display no special love for sentimentality, blind patriotism or closed circles, which they see as havens for weakness and ignorance. Advice. Let others take the lead more often. You may be wise, but remember that wise men learn more from fools than fools from wise men. Work hard at trying to admit mistakes when you make them. There is no particular merit in holding on to an outworn creed or outdated idea. The second Capricorn personality which is from January 3rd to January 9th. More than with most people, Capricorn too seem to get their way an awful lot of the time. Indeed, the determined individuals born in this period know how to make the very best out of a situation and how to stretch their abilities to the limit. Many Capricorn twos who display only modest talents can make them count for far more than those blessed with natural gifts. They fully understand the maxim which holds that genius is 1% inspiration, 99% perspiration. Even the idealists born in this period exhibit a strong practical side which leads them to build and maintain systems that really work. Those born in Capricorn II may in fact be so pragmatic that they are less concerned with the motives behind an action than with the outcome. This latter fact can cause problems for some Capricorn twos in the ethical sphere. Because they can be rather matter-of-fact about measuring the success of a given endeavor with the yardstick of results, 
They may at times be vulnerable to using slightly underhanded or unscrupulous methods, particularly when dealing with money and power. Aside from running the risk of being rejected or punished when found out, such behavior may, in extreme cases, undermine moral sensibilities and lead to psychological or sociopathic problems. The more idealistic of Capricorn twos may put their energies in the service of an organization or higher cause, but they usually feel more comfortable when assuming a visible and challenging role than a selfless devotion behind the scenes. Nonetheless, the ambition of Capricorn twos may still be more for the organization than for themselves. In this respect, they are in fact committed and giving. However, there is no reassurance that what they call moral is objectively so and they may get so carried away with such idealistic endeavors that they also, like the power trippers mentioned above, wind up using questionable methods, in this case justified by an elevated or holy cause. Capricorn II Sir Strivers, like the mountain goat who seeks out the highest crags. Yet, determined as they are, they may ultimately fail if they are unable to keep a firm grip on the reality they prize so dearly. Advice. Recognize your limitations, they do exist. Allow yourself to give in occasionally, even to fail and acknowledge it. Showing your more vulnerable side should not be threatening. Try to keep your ideals grounded and be sure your reality is not in fact an illusion. The third Capricorn personality which is from January 10th to January 16th. Capricorn 3 people are strongly dominant types. At home or at work they tend to rule and direct, finding it difficult to play second fiddle to anyone. As siblings or children they will generally support and complement figures placed higher in the family hierarchy, but ultimately may find themselves locked in power struggles in which they must gain the upper hand over time. In like manner, those born in this period are particularly good at marking out their own territory and making sure that no one aggresses on it. Capricorn three people's steadfastness often has a tremendously stabilizing effect on the groups to which they belong. Many Capricorn threes exhibit a strong desire to lead, while others born in this period are more content to remain in an unassailable position of power and stay there. These latter individuals may prefer the security of such a position to the uncertainty, visibility, and hence vulnerability of the one who is at the top. Not only in their work or business life, but also in personal relationships and social activities they may severely restrict their expressiveness through a refusal to take chances. Thus their fear of vulnerability and openness may lock them into a fatalistic and isolated stance. Many Capricorn threes are true overachievers who see themselves heroically battling against long odds whether their disadvantage be a less than ideal background, physical handicap, or even shortcoming of beauty, brains, or talent. Hopefully, in their courageous ascent they can manage not to compromise their high ideals or lose touch with their roots. What many in fact achieve is to carve out a personal niche in life, be it great or small. In such an empire they are the undisputed boss. However, those born in this period must beware that their insistence on supremacy does not leave them both the only ruler and only subject. Advice. Don't be afraid to take chances. If you do not dare to fail you may not achieve your true heart's desire. Your insistence on security may be misplaced at times. Try to be more flexible where the feelings of others are concerned. Do not assume that your values have absolute or universal application. The cusp of Capricorn Aquarius personality which is from January 17th to January 22 th. The imaginative Capricorian certainly does not lead a dull life. The more flamboyant of those born on this cusp often bring their entertainment with them and are capable of providing an electric excitement wherever they are. The source for such energy can often be found in an inner world in which mystery and Imagination vie for supremacy. Even the minority of those born on this cusp who appear quiet or unassuming have a vivid, active fantasy and dream life, it is also likely that they experience quite a lot of excitement in private. Every cusp personality comprises conflicting elements, being influenced by two very different adjacent signs. In the case of the Capricorn Aquarius personality, the earthy stability of Capricorn can be split asunder in an instant by the lightning-quick and erratic mentality of Aquarius. Thus conflicts may arise between conservative and radical influences which stand little chance of being fully reconciled. Sensation thought types, those born on the Capricorn Aquarius cusp can sometimes lack empathic feelings and be at the mercy of their impulses. 
Capricorians are particularly prone to unusual experiences and the enjoyment of vivid visual images. Blessed or cursed with an active dream. Life, many inhabit a world when asleep that makes the waking life seem dull by comparison. The most highly developed individuals born on this cusp may use their fertile fantasy world as the basis for creativity, whether commercial or artistic, and can translate their private images into symbols or ideas which have meaning for their friends and associates, or for the world at large. Advice. You must find an outlet for your creative energy. Communicate what you experience. Try not to be discouraged by lack of understanding, ignorance, or negative criticism. Don't go off the deep end but rather find those who understand and appreciate you. The first Aquarius personality which is from January 23rd to January 30th. Aquarius I people are often precocious. As children, those born in this period can be distinguished by the quickness of their perceptions and learning processes although, of course, their relative intelligence can vary jostle as those born at any time of the year the other side is that Aquarius eyes bore easily, losing interest if unable to grasp a concept or make something work quickly, therefore, they are generally unsuited for repetitive tasks that demand an unerring concentration or endeavors that require stubborn determination. Patience is not their strongest suit by any means because of their quick, facile minds Aquarius has often come into conflict with more controlling personalities who wish to teach them to be more responsible or force them to accept a life OT unchallenging, unstimulating work. The free spirits born in this period rarely allow themselves to submit to such disciplinarians and unfortunately punishment, emotional or physical, can be the consequence of their rebellion. In all fairness, some of the more methodical individuals who meet Aquarius as are motivated by only the best intentions and wish to guide those born in this period to a more meaningful approach to life. Sometimes the unaccepting attitude comes from Aquarius as themselves, rejecting both the peers who cannot keep up with them mentally and the elders who are bent on helping them ground their flighty and often brilliant energies. Difficulties may also arise for Aquarius as if they become objects of jealousy or adulation, emotions those born in this period often inspire through their insistence on living their own life and being themselves. In fact, when their unusual character traits, lifestyle or habits repeatedly attract notice, Aquariuses tend to grow tired of the attention. Indeed, outside of those they care. For deeply, most born in this period are not built to deal with the complex emotional needs and demands of others. Advice. Clarify a realistic picture of yourself in your mind's eye. A certain amount of undesirable personal interaction is always necessary. Try to be a bit more thick-skinned, and if necessary, downright insensitive. Cultivate calm, patience, and persistence rather than always going your own way. Learn to handle frustration and be tough enough to quietly demand the very best for yourself. The second Aquarius personality which is from January 31st to February 7th. Aquarius two people like it best when things go easily. Often they perform at work and in their day-to-day -day activities with an ease and grace that deeply impress others. Such an orientation belies the tremendous practice and application by which those born in this period achieve their seemingly effortless, even flawless techniques. Furthermore, this sense of ease may also hide the conflicts and problems in human relationships invariably experienced by those born in Aquarius too. Be that as it may, riding the bicycle of life with no hands is an Aquarius II speciality. Like Aquarius eyes, Aquarius IIs are mentally and often physically quick. Unlike those born in Aquarius eyed however, the Aquarius II displays less of a genius mentality and more that of a virtuoso. That is to say, it is generally the command of their medium and their capacity to consistently produce and perform that distinguish them, rather than abstract or original thought processes. Because their virtuosity is often coupled with charm and fine appearance, Aquarius 2s may come to be dependent on the admiration or even awe they can arouse in others, and may suffer if it is withdrawn. In some form or other, it seems the theme of youth manifests itself in all that Aquarius 2s do. Indeed, those born in this period may reveal a large measure of their full powers by the age of 20. This coupled with their distaste for hassles or difficulties, and often the corresponding lack of deep struggle evident in their work, can gain for them a reputation of being superficial or lacking depth. Though such a charge may in fact be groundless, there is no denying that a certain girlishness or boyishness accompanies Aquarius Tooth their whole life long. Advice 
Try to get in touch with your own deeper feelings. Sometimes it is better to meet problems head on. A bit of pain now may prevent much more later. Don't be too dependent on others' opinion of you. Have the courage to be yourself and don't feel you have to please or entertain. The third Aquarius personality which is from February 8th to February 15th. Aquarius 3s are often idea people, many of whom are endowed with a deep and lasting social consciousness. They may be visionaries whose moral sense is strong and capable of understanding everyday situations in universal terms. Some Aquarius 3s have psychic powers and are accurate in predicting future events. Their most outstanding characteristic, perhaps, is their acceptance of ideas, people and situations that others would find strange, unappealing or weird. However, many Aquarius 3s do not necessarily start out that way, indeed, their open-mindedness increases with age, for in their younger days they tend to be a bit too hard-headed and opinionated to give opposing arguments a fair hearing. Over the years, largely through dint of experience, those born in this period grow a bit less judgmental and far more willing to chew over varying points of view before setting their course. Aquarius 3s will stand up courageously to defend their beliefs. No amount of criticism, opposition, or derision alone can make them retract their statements. Though they are cool under fire, however, they can react badly when attacked personally. Here they are very, very vulnerable, and those who wish to hurt them may well discover how and when to push their buttons. Aquarius 3s are unusually alive and colorful individuals whose personalities tend to be open and positive. Having fun, cracking jokes and sharing intimate or telling comments are all characteristic of their personalities. If left free without many responsibilities they can remain relaxed and happy for long periods of time. However, their extreme sensitivity makes them prone to quick mood swings in which they can become highly excitable and reactive to slights that are perhaps unintentional or even wholly imagined. At such times, those born in this period can be subject to passionate displays of emotion and anger, and even exhibit a large measure of instability. Aquarius 3s must learn to toughen their hide a bit and allow smaller provocations to pass without undue attention advice accept your need for other people and cultivate meaningful social interaction remain open and accepting but also demand that others accept you as you are too your psychic abilities are valuable use them constructively beware of allowing rejection to lower your self-esteem The cusp of Aquarius Pisces personality which is from February 16th to February 22nd. The sensitive souls born on the Aquarius Pisces cusp direct most of their energy within two spheres, the personal and the universal, often bypassing the worldly sphere in the process. Indeed, the Aquises may be seen as an explorer who has courage enough to dig deep within him slash herself but also yearns to soar off into the beyond. Perhaps the ultimate synthesis for such an individual to accomplish is to recognize the extremes of internal and external, subjective and objective, personal and universal as simply two sides of the same coin. Also, because the middle ground, symbolically speaking, the functioning ego and its social expression, is the most difficult for those born on this cusp to tread, they may have to focus more of their energy on managing the business of life. Every cusp personality comprises conflicting elements, being influenced by two very different adjacent signs. In the case of this particular cusp, the dynamic, universal nature of Aquarius is either tempered or challenged by the highly subjective, personal nature of Pisces. More successful people born on this cusp are able to integrate these two sides of their character, neither losing themselves to unrealistic dreams nor submerging themselves in the depths of their own concerns. Aquises have a hunger for experience. For many, impressions from the outside world are like food or fuel which powers their creative motor. But as they are sensitive to the extreme, it is difficult for them to remain objective in their contacts with the world. This is part of the reason why their attempts to create balance in their daily life are highly problematical. Advice Don't give up on the world or retreat behind fences. 
If necessary, tear obstructions down to rediscover your sensitive self. Learning to trust may mean ceasing to fear. Without denying your need to explore the depths and the heights, take the middle road more often. The first Pisces personality, which is from February 23rd to March 2nd. Most Pisces I people believe in the supremacy of spirit over matter, and therefore often devote themselves to idealistic causes or pursuits. Some born in this period go so far as to exhibit what amounts to a disregard for the material world, particularly when it comes to their work. Indeed, many Pisceses have a yearning and zest for the non-material side of life, the life of ideas, music, art and movement. Their belief systems may be religious in nature, or they may be pantheists who see God everywhere even if they do not submit to the authority of a church, temple, or mosque. Also their sense of devotion can be directed toward their work, family, or hobby, which may in fact be less of a hobby and more of an all-involving pursuit. Rarely does one find an unbridled egotist in Tins period, since even those Pisces eyes who devote themselves to their own career or self-development also do so with an air of serving a higher cause. Yet Pisces can also be aloof, and at times preoccupied with their own self-importance or the importance of their projects, which sometimes means neglecting family and friends. Also an air of infallibility often accompanies them, so that others may find themselves frustrated or even infuriated. With the better-than-thou or know-it-all attitude of the Pisces I individual. Many Pisces eyes have a surprisingly realistic view of life, in all of its many aspects. Their interests roam over the entire range of human knowledge from the practical concerns of daily life to the farthest reaches of the cosmos. Pisces eyes in fact may not regard spirituality as some far-off dream state, but a more enlightened or conscious way of dealing with the here and now. Advice Sometimes you need to be more aggressive. Keep in touch with everyday matters and remain attentive to your needs and the needs of others. Beware of alienation through placing yourself on a higher plane. Seeking a higher state of consciousness need not mean avoiding shouldering the work of life. The second Pisces personality which is from March 3rd to March 10th. Pisces 2 people are often individuals who wind up spending long periods of time alone. Of course, like anyone else, they fulfill their daily family and work responsibilities but even while functioning effectively, they can be in their own world. Generally not overly social, Pisces IPs have a circle of loyal and loving friends who provide them with all the social interaction they need. Many Pisces IPs choose to work as self-employed persons out of their own home or private office, and when operating within a work team do best when they have their own space, where they can close the door against intrusions. Those born in this period have a very great gift to give to those few people they allow into their space intimacy. Few in the whole year have the talent to so meaningfully share themselves and their often unusual interior life. Those blessed with a Pisces two friend know the joys of interacting with such sensitive and often quietly passionate individuals. Pisces twos do not have it easy in the world. Often singled out or even persecuted for their sensitivity and idiosyncrasies, they may well begin a retreat from society in their teens or early adulthood. Other more normal Pisces IPs gravitate toward increasing privacy not because they dislike or are traumatized by the outside world but rather because they find the state of being alone more rewarding and productive. Many such individuals are very distracted and upset by the endless noise and static of everyday existence. Because those born in this week are generally open, accepting, sensitive individuals, their receptivity is high. Consequently, more than most, they can be prone to accidents and disease as well as to positive experiences of learning and sensuous stimulation. It seems that Pisces too are fated to live hilly in the peaks and valleys of life. Fortunately, those born in this period tend to be extremely resilient and thus recover from setbacks which others might not survive at all. Advice. Try to remain realistic in your outlook. Resist the lure of escapes, in all their varied forms. On the other hand, leave a window open on the world.
Continue to strive for trust and acceptance, but remember to stand up for yourself as well. Improving your social position may make certain things easier for you. Your suffering may neither be unique or, for that matter, necessary. The third Pisces personality which is from March 11th to March 18th. Pisces three people are often endowed with unusual psychic and intuitive gifts. Yet they may in fact squander such talents if they have no way to ground them in the here and now. Balancing conflicting points of view, energies and daily activities are key to the effectiveness of Pisces 3s. Some of the struggles which all of us undergo, but which stand out in bold relief in the Pisces 3 personality, are coming to terms with the relative and the absolute, objective and subjective, pragmatic and ideal. For example, many Pisces 3s know that everything is relative, but at the same time feel the intense need to believe in certain universal principles. Or although they know that there are unassailable truths that one must operate by in everyday life, they also recognize that much of what we encounter is colored by our subjective views and responses. Swinging back and forth between such points of view is typical of Pisces 3s, but so also is their intense desire to integrate seeming contradictions. The unreality factor of this week can be very high, particularly among those Pisces 3s who have not invested much time or energy in developing practical skills. This kind of Pisces 3 wishes to fly before learning to walk. It, it is true, however, that many born in this period exhibit paranormal abilities from an early age that go against generally accepted notions of space, time, and causality. But whether they display such unusual abilities or not, those born in Pisces 3 do seem to be in touch with special human and universal conditions which are sensed by very few. Therefore, it is likely that at some point they will forsake worldly ambitions to follow what they perceive as greater challenges and higher callings. Advice Be more demanding of yourself in your personal development and contribute actively to the life around you. Beware of neglecting to build a firm foundation. There is a limit to what you are capable of overcoming, make life easier for yourself, and be willing to compromise when necessary.